And welcome back to The Factor on Censor. It seemed like all the highly anticipated movies last year were delayed because of COVID-19. Many of them still haven't come out as of yet. Now we're getting word about another round of delays with movies. We caught up with the BackstageOL.com guys today for the latest. And joining us now here on The Factor on Censor from Backstage OL, Dave Morales and Jonathan Stinfall. Guys, I have heard that uh, this Delta surge or COVID surge that we're seeing with the Delta variant is causing quite an impact on theaters. Uh, obviously, we saw movie theaters open back up, but it never returned to its glory days. So how is the new Delta variant, the deadly, deadly strain that we're seeing out there impacting movie theaters? Well, I'll tell you, Isaiah, I'm going to tell you the, the breaking news and to answer your question, and that John is actually going to start us down a list of movies that have been moved yet again because of what's going on with the COVID variant. Um, theaters opened up. A lot of people were going, and then it kind of thinned out. But I will tell you something that has happened over the last couple of weeks. A great movie came out, Isaiah, called Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds, and mm -hmm. everybody flocked by. Did pretty well. It's number one for the second week in a row, making about $30 million each week. It's already close to $90 million. I think what the answer is, the short answer, Isaiah, if you've got a good movie, people will still go see it. I always tell people, and I've told you this on The Factor, uh, is that um, you know if you feel safe going to a theater, you know, talk to the manager, ask about ma masks, do they clean the theater? Uh, and if you're comfortable with that, then definitely by all means, go find the biggest screen that you can uh, you know, see these great movies at. But John, I know that you've got a movie that everybody was looking forward to that has moved in. This is breaking news, Isaiah. John, why don't you tell them? Yeah, so Venom has moved. Venom 2 has moved. It is getting pushed back to October 15th. Uh, and also Dune, which was originally supposed to release on October 1st, is getting pushed back three more weeks to October 22nd. Now, if you look at what Hotel Transylvania is doing, they decided they're not gonna go with the theatrical release, and instead, they decided to sell the movie to Amazon for a cool $100 million. So not too bad with that. Not now, bad at all, but that would be way less than what they would potentially get in the box office. So, so are they taking a loss, Dave, before, Jonathan, we continue with your list. Dave, are they taking a loss with something like that? They are taking it, but $100 million is pretty good. Um, I think this is a kind of movie, it's families, probably would have opened with about, if I had to guess, you know, like you said, the COVID has shrunk a lot of the, the, the budgets that people, pre-pandemic movies would open with like 80, 90 million. I think mm -hmm. post-pandemic or during this, while this, that movie probably would have opened for about 30, 40 million. I think it would have made that $100 million mark, Isaiah, but would it, it would have taken several weeks if maybe not a month, month and a half, and now they're gonna get it right on top. Okay, and Jonathan, continue on with your list. Yeah, and so now we're gonna talk about what's staying the same. So Bond's No Time to Die is still planning to release on October 8th, and the movie that I'm really looking forward to, that for me is the transition, in my opinion, for the pandemic, will be Top Gun Maverick, and mm -hmm. that's still on schedule for November 19th. So we'll see if those end up staying to date. I know we're going to be looking at the, at the number of cases that are coming up. But like Dave was saying with Free Guy, I actually didn't go to the 730 screening on Saturday because there were so many people there. And so I ended up going to the 1030 p.m. screening because I had less people. But what Free Guy has going for it is they're not doing any online streaming. It's a theatrical release only. And so people are going to have to wait, I think it's like 28, 30 days before you can actually stream it. So that's what's really pushing that at the box office. And online streaming has been the way to go, but also left some in Hollywood very upset, Dave, like Scarlett Johansson, who filed a lawsuit against Disney for Black Widow being released on streaming and at the movie theaters. And they thought, well, maybe it was in the movie theaters exclusively. They would have done a bigger box office because she gets a piece of that pie with the box office. Yeah, so a lot of the contracts were restructured again pre-pandemic to where the actress and actresses were getting paid a percentage of the total take. In other words, what the movie was making, they would get a percentage, which a lot of times ended up being more than just say, here's 20, 30 million for playing this role. So what she uh, contends is that Disney, you know, uh, fell through on their deal. She deserves more money. Here's what's interesting, though. Uh, a lot of actors are coming to her defense 
And I think at some point, Disney is probably going to have to say, you know what, here's some more money that, that we probably do owe you. Uh, I, I know that there's go now other actors and actresses are saying, hey, maybe I should sue Warner Brothers. Maybe I should sue this studio because uh, just like her, I should be getting more money. Um, you know, I think you have to take into consideration that a lot of things changed because of the pandemic. And while that was an agreement pre-pandemic, maybe you just got to, you're still getting a lot of money. I know that you want more. How much more do you need? More? But <laughs> a uh, you know, ten million dollars. I yeah, deserve right. more than that. What was it? What was it on that? If I say, no, by the but, way, before we get done, add, I want, I want you to add know real that, quick, Dave, that they've learned from the artist side as well. We've had a lot of artists like Taylor Swift, for example, having her music upstreamed. Uh, like on Spotify and everything and not getting the return they want. So I think it's good that the Hollywood stars or the actors are getting ahead of this curve so that their value isn't diminished in the market. I get that. And Isaiah, I just wanted to add, we still don't have any uh, update on the uh, Justice League, the Isaiah Factor cut. Uh, <laughs> that one still... Hey, I got my cut on HBO Max, the, the Zack Snyder cut. So I'm satisfied. Thank you, guys. Always good to see you. You too, man. Thank you. And now I'm waiting on the release of Candyman. Now, just don't say it five times in your mirror. You know what could happen.